Oh, I do need clay, so might as well take this as well. You know, I actually forgot about the clay. And I do need this so I can start forming those storage vessels. Oh, and one other thing. There is a new way of uh, firing the clay. You're supposed to create something called a... Uh, what's it called? A kiln. There's like one more word in there, but it's basically a place in the ground where you fire up all your clay products. And I'm going to need to do that. It's a much more complicated process than putting the raw clay product into the uh, campfire or whatever. Okay, we're gonna have to go now. But I want as much clay as possible, just so we can work throughout the night, forming those clay products that we need. Okay, that should be good. We have two full stacks. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, careful of these holes. Like, I do not want to be dying right now. We're falling into these holes. And there's our house. We need to set up some torches. Okay, uh, here we go. Start torching up the areas around here. I'm also going to mark the trader with a torch. It doesn't look like he has a lantern. Oh yeah, he does have a lantern. Never mind. I don't like those voices. I also don't like the new voices that we have in this game. It's like instead of the human voice we had in 1.14, we now have instruments. Okay, we are safe. Just finish getting rid of this grass here. I guess we will store this clay here. I need to eat. So here is our progress for the first day of version 1.15 in Wilderness Survival. Got lots of fruit, that's going to last us the entire night. Got lots of clay products. Still have tools to work with. So, in the meantime... Wait, how much firewood do we have? We have 12, and we still have logs in here. Yeah, four logs. I'll just store it out here, just so we don't take up space in there. So let's start creating our storages. We're going to need lots of them. I just need to fill these out. Probably one of the most tedious things to be doing in these early stages of the game is making these clay products. Now I'm going to make a few of these and then eventually these will become our food storages when we build a cellar. And these things will store lots of food for a very long time. If you remember in the last playthrough, it's like I haven't even went through half of the food that was stored in the cellar. So I'm thinking I'll just make a smaller cellar. 
Like the maximum that you can have is seven by seven. And that's what I made last playthrough. I'm thinking we can do seven by five. So just slightly smaller. Same amount of rack space as before. Except it's just going to take up less space and require less materials to build. And then I can have my house, or at least the basement, have more things in it. Okay, here is one. So if we just put this clay product in here, it says it can't smell, it requires a kiln. Okay, maybe it's just called a kiln and not something like clay kiln or something like that. Oh, we should take this out. And in order to make one of these, actually what I'm going to do is put this right here. And, oh, we need some firewood. I actually forgot how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, drifters are around and I need a weapon. Uh, let's combine this into one stack. Now, we're going to need our uh, spears. Yeah, I hear you out there. Don't worry, I'm going to kill you very soon. Just be patient. There's two. Yeah, this is why I have those windows around me. It's just so I can see them. Alright, I should only need three spears at this point in time. Oh, I should put them here. In the first... Well, of course I missed them. Now, I need to stay by the light so that I can actually see them. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I should put, also put this on my offhand, just so I can see them. The, okay, these are flax fibers. All of these things have a different... Oh, no. All of these things have a different icon now. Well, some of them do. Now, I don't want to venture too far away from my house because I kind of need this light for the vision. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. I don't have enough torches to extend the vision. There's one more over here. And there goes my knife. So all I got is one flax fiber. But we are now clear to proceed with this. Oh, now I remember. I need grass. Now I heard drifters around. Okay, do I put the grass over here? Okay, so... You know what? Let's put... Let's make... The f wow, what the hell is this? Why is this door so useless? Anyway, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna make another thing of this thing. Just so we'll have two raw storages. Now we can do it with one, but we do need to make these storages. 
So might as well just do two at a time. Then we'll do the copy or duplicate layer like so. This is a very useful tool except it only puts down... What is it? Four... Wait a minute. In the last version, it put down five voxels, didn't it? This version, it's only putting down four, so it's a little bit slower now. It is still faster than putting down one voxel at a time manually. But this is even less useful than before. I can't even use it when it changes shape like this. So if you can use the 3x3s, three three, it's actually much faster to do it this way than anything else. There we go. Okay, let's put this down. Oh, I need to put this in my offhand. There we go. All right. Drifters are somewhere over there. They're not approaching me, so we're good. This needs to be surrounded by solid non- Oh, shit. Took a hit. Unnecessarily. Okay. My backside is clear. I need these. Alright, come over here. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, where are you, Drifter? Not anywhere here. Okay, I did have another... Wait, no, I didn't. My other knife broke when I was getting those cattails. So, I'm gonna need to make another knife. Or another set of knives. There we go. Alright, let's close this up. Oh, I also need to eat. Alright, I still have flint. And I still need to figure out why that's not happening. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, food. Need to feed, and this is about to expire soon, so we'll start working on this first. So I'm probably going to have to build another basket for storage. Come on, would you stop that? Damn. Okay, two more knives. Now, I'm thinking maybe we need to do this. Let's try diagonals. Let's see if that helps. Then we'll put soil here. I don't see a drifter coming. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we put the firewood here. Or not. Is it sticks? Oh, we need four sticks. Okay, so... You know what? Let's go out there, try to get some more sticks. Hopefully not run into floors. Or, not floors, um... What are those things we fall through? <laughs> Holes. Yeah. I totally remember what they're called. Can't believe I called them floors. Yes, floors are made of floors. Holes are made of holes. And I only got one stick out of that? Really? 
Damn, game. Oh, need more of this. To get some sticks from this. Okay, that should be enough, hopefully. And we got some wood out of it as well. Alright, we are now on day two. We're still trying to figure this thing out. Okay, we need eight sticks to create one of these. And now we need firewood. Just one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we ignite it. But let's finish this one first. Okay, let's start by cutting this thing down. My axe is almost done, but I just want the sticks. Okay, there we go. Oh. Let's do, do that. Now we're gonna put the sticks in here. This is very expensive in terms of resources. And I need another axe. Thought I had another axe though. Well, no, let's make another one. The beginning of stages of this game are always somewhat complicated. But I think we'll be okay. Let's turn all of this into firewood. We got one full stack here. Let's do. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, next thing I want to do is uh, clear out all of this stuff. Oh, before we do that, let's harvest these things before they despawn. Because what I'm looking for is a temporal gear. And they gave me nothing. All right, that's fine. We just need to continue being careful. Now at this point, we can do a little bit of exploring. And the reason I'm clearing out this area is because these things can catch fire and I don't want the fire to spread. It's going to take out all of those flowers and trees if it gets close to them. So we'll clear this out and maybe the ones along the edge here. And then I'm going to fill the rest of this in with the packed dirt. And my knife is already gone. Down to the last knife. Okay, here's our packed dirt. And we'll just do it like this. Make sure nothing flammable can touch it, and then we should be okay. Now the storage is most important at this point in time. 
So we'll get this going first. Light this up. And just for good measure, let's also fill in this area. Now, I probably should get some more cattails just so we can get some more storage. And while we're over here, let's explore just a little bit more. I need to see what's going on here. Okay, that's not a hole. Now, there are crops. I need to start collecting that. Okay, so sandstone rocks. I think all of our structures are going to be sandstone at this point. While I'm out here, I'm also going to be looking for the copper. Because we are going to need copper in order to advance in the ages. Get some metal working going. Oh shit! That is a wolf. And oh shit, is on to me. I'm gonna jump in the water. Let's jump into the water. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, he's after me now. And I am missing. Oh, God. seriously? Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, you are getting really close. Now, I do need to kill you. Oh yeah, I got him. Okay, there is my spear. I have to be very careful here because they can actually one-shot me. But, at the very least, it's one down. On top of that, I can also use the bones for like sticks for making tools. So I can save a lot of sticks. Oh, I hear another. Okay, where is... Okay, we'll do that. I heard the wolf in that direction. And I see Terra Preta. Okay, let's approach this carefully. It's a dangerous spot here. There are lots of crops. And there is Terra Preta and a ruin. Now, we should probably mark this location. And we got some seeds, but my inventory is full. I think we can actually plant this. I'll put you right here. So let's mark this location and then we'll come back for it later. There's an entrance to a cave as well. Ow. And we got Pete. What can I throw away? Oh, we have an empty slot there. You know, let's get one stack of peat for the time being. Careful of the block gravity. Or oh, you know what? Forget about it. Let's just trigger it. Yeah. There we go. Now, we are beginning to starve. So, let's head back. So we have lo one location for Terra Preta. That's going to be useful for our farms. I 
probably should try to figure out what direction is which direction because I haven't done that yet. I was too busy digging out a lot of stuff over here, digging out the clay, building our house. And I still need to collect these seeds, start consolidating them so we can get our farm up and running soon. So how is this going anyway? And you know what, I probably should light this other thing on fire. Because it doesn't look like the fire is spreading. Probably should have done that earlier. Oh no, I'm saying that again. There's going to be a lot of things in this game that I should have done earlier, but didn't. I'm just going to take these torches down. And then we'll put them back up during the night. I'll leave that one up. Just in case. And then we'll make another storage here. Okay, so let's put our grass here. Put our clay. I guess everything. We'll keep the bones just so we can make some tools. Other than that... Oh, I guess I can also make this meat now. And we got some peat. Alright, let's light it up. And then get that uh, protein going. Come on. Really? How did I do that? Okay, I'm going to store this peat over here. It looks like we should be good. Probably should make another shovel, just in case. And then I will also... Where's our sticks? We'll do that. And let's start looking in this direction. 